All right, everyone. We're gonna play another game on the DOS, and this time it's Jeopardy Platinum Edition. Let's see how we do this game, shall we? All right. This. Try again. This is Jeopardy. <laughs> and now, here is our host, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to your favorite game of answers and questions. We know who the contestants are, so let's go to work in the first round, the Jeopardy round, which has the one daily double. Here are the categories. Business and industry. Number, please. Ten names. Hints from Heloise. 1980. The long and short of it. And, of course, those two words will appear in the correct responses. A business and industry 100. S.O. came from the pronunciation of this co company's initials, S.O. What is standard oil? Yes. Yep. Released in 1970, it was the Beatles' last number one hit. What is Please Please Me? No! Sorry, wrong. It was the long and winding road. Hector Hugh Monroe was a police officer in Burma before he wrote short stories under this one word name. Loco. No, that's not right. Anyone else? Oops, I don't know. No, sorry. Saki. Saki. He published his first sci-fi story under the pseudonym Normal Bean, as Tarzan might know. Who is Edgar Rice Burroughs? You're right. Pen names for 200. Of James Joyce, Joyce Kilmer, or Joyce Carol Oates, the one who used the pen name Rosamund Smith. Who is Joyce Carol Oates? That's right. Pick again. It's a breed of cattle or a mild cheddar cheese. What is Longhorn? That's right. Pick again. According to the Gospels, Judas betrayed Jesus for this many pieces of silver. Thirty? Yes. Planning on sharing its oil profits with its residents, this U.S. state dropped its income tax. What is Alaska? You're right. 1980 for 200, for 100. On June 27th, 1980, Canada's parliament chose this song to be the official national anthem. What is Old Canada? That's a correct response. Select again. Uh, 1980 for 300. His sister Beth won a bronze at the 1980 Olympics. He won five golds for skating. 
who is uh, Eric Hyden. Yes. I say 400. This country with the most Catholics in the world received its first visit by a reigning pope. What is the United States? Sorry, wrong. Poland? No, sorry. Not Poland. Brazil. That's right. Pick again. In 1922, using the Pittman method of this, Nathan Barron took down 300 words per minute for five minutes. What is stenography? No. No, that's not right. Anyone else? Shorthand. You're right. It's the position played by Cal Ripken for the Orioles and Ozzie Smith for the Cardinals. What is shortstop? Yes. Long and short, 500. Or 400. It's Marlon Brando's occupation in the movie On the Waterfront. What is a longshoreman? That's right. Pick again. There we go. I'll take business industry for 200. This drink named after a shrub and a nut is now popular worldwide. What is Coca-Cola? You're right. Business industry for 300, please. It's what the bisque and Nabisco stands for. What is biscuit? Yes. Business industry for 400? Hansa, as in the Hanseatic League, means company, so this is German for air company. Hansel and Gretel? Gosh, that's wrong. What is Nike? Uh, no, I don't know. Sorry, wrong. Lufthansa. All right. Adolf Dassler, ADI to his friends, founded this company. Mercedes-Benz? No. No, that's not right. Anyone else? No, I'm sorry. That's wrong. Adidas. All right. Let me take uh num uh. Let's have ninety eight for five hundred. This Republican from Illinois announced his independent candidacy. Ross Perot. No. Sorry. Wrong. John Anderson? Yeah. That's right. Pick again. If one of these fasteners is stuck, try rubbing its teeth with a bar of soap or a candle. What is a zipper? You got it. Make another selection. Don't throw out the canisters that the 35mm type of this comes in. Use them for storage. What is film? That's a correct response. Select again. All right. I'll wager everything but a dollar. 
Use henna or strong coffee to color this without irritation or strong chemicals. What is hair? Yes. All right. If you lose one of one of a pair of these jewelry items, you can turn the other into a pendant or stud. What are earrings? You're right. You can start your celebration of this March holiday with green food colored pancakes. What is St. Patrick's Day? That's right. Pick again. Number please 100. It's the number of watts in a kilowatt. Thousand, yep. Right. It was Jack Benny's perennial age. No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Yes. Using the name Elizabeth Bennett, she wrote an anecdotal column for the Atlanta Journal in the 1920s. Who was Miss... Who was, um... Emily Post? Gosh, that's wrong. Margaret Bork Margaret Mitchell? That's right. Pick again. Oh, yeah. Joe Friday's badge number on Dragnet or the number of home runs hit by Babe Ruth? What is 512? No. No, I'm sorry. That's wrong. Seven fourteen. Yeah. That's a correct response. Select again. In the nineteen thirties, this novelist wrote poems for the Mon Monterey Beacon under the name Amnesia Glossack, Glosscock, Glosscock. John Steinbeck. Yes. Now the last clue. Not surprisingly, you can write to the H. J. Hines Company at this P.O. Box in Pittsburgh. What is fifty-seven? You got it. Double Jeopardy coming up. All right, it's time now for the Double Jeopardy round. Here are the categories. Composers. Slang. USA. Biology. Turkey. Art. Okay. Late astronaut James B. Irwin led several expeditions to this Turkish mount in search of Noah's Ark. What is Mount Ararat? You got it. Make another selection. Turkey 200. In 1930, the name of Turkey's capital was changed officially from Angora to this. What is Ankara? You're right. Turkey 400. Popular Turkish foods include mutton, rice, yogurt, and this dish of meat and vegetables on a skewer. What is a shish kebab? You got it. Make another selection. Turkey for 800. A basilica near Ephesus houses the traditional tomb of this apostle and gospel writer. St. Mark? No. Gosh, that's wrong. St. John. Right. Kiwi is slang for someone from this country. What is New Zealand? You got it. Slang for 200. Happy Hunting Ground is less slang for this afterlife locale. What is heaven? That's a correct response. Select again. A conjuncture is a shot in this. What's the dark? 
You got it. Slide for 800. This is the big sleep or the big chill. What is death? You're right. Rocks for jocks and slide for an introductory college course in this subject. What is geology? That's right. Pick again. All right. Um, Turkey for a thousand. After this empire's demise in 1922, Turkey became a republic. What is the uh, Byzantine? No, I'm sorry. That's wrong. Oh, it's the other one. The Ottoman Empire, yeah. Right. That one. All right. It's okay. Yeah, the Selicanth, a primitive type of this animal, has lobed as well as ray type of fins, and it's a fish. You're right. Oh, Wendy's getting on me. He composed a high class rag called Fig Leaf Rag in 1908. Who is Scott Joplin? You got it. Got to pull away from Wendy here. DDT has endangered many carnivorous birds because it causes the shells of these to become paper thin. What are turtles? Gosh, that's wrong. Tree trunks. No. Sorry, wrong. Oh, eggs. You got it. Make another selection. This city, Oklahoma's second largest, holds an annual chili cook-off and bluegrass festival. What is Tulsa? Yes. A deciduous tree drops these in autumn and produces new ones in the spring. What are leaves? You got it. Make another selection. Dentin is the calcified tissue surrounding the pulp of one of these. What's a tooth? That's a correct response. Select again. The, this type of heap is a pile of vegetable material allowed to break down and used to improve soil. What is moss? No. What is a heap? Compost? Right. Compost heap. Yeah, okay. Uh, USA 200. Its state fair takes place in Syracuse, not Albany. What is New York? You got it. Make another selection. Ten thousand dollars right now. The Bering Sea Ice Classic is a golf tournament played on ice in this U.S. state. What is Alaska? You're right. USA for six hundred. I feel good. I'm gonna go all in. Roland Hinton Perry sculpted the lines for the Taft Bridge on Connecticut Avenue in this city. What is Atlantic? Or no? Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna look it up because I can. It's my video. I can do whatever I want to. Oh, it's in Washington, D.C. <laughs> All right. No? Taft Bridge. Uh, God, I don't know. I'll say Pittsburgh. I don't no, know. No, sorry. I shouldn't have done that. It was Washington, D.C. My instincts led me astray. Henry Flagler's fabulous mansion is now a museum in this Florida beach that he named for its coconut trees. What is Palm Springs or Palm Beach? You got it. Uh, i got a ways to go to catch up now. Transit of Venus is a 1920 novel by this American composer who is better known for his marches. Who is John Philip? 
Azusa. That's right. Pick again. His sister Maria Anna was a fine harpsichordist. When they were children in the 1760s, they gave dual concerts. Who was Beethoven? Sorry, wrong. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. You got it. Yeah. This pomp and circumstance composer never finishes opera, the Spanish lady. Who is Edvard Grieg? No, sorry. Wait a minute. Yeah, it is. It's got to be Edvard Grieg. That's right. Pick again. His original order for the Birds of America is at the New York Historical Society. Who is John James Audubon? Right. Sadly, the showboat composer's last music, Broadway musical, Very Warm for May, was a flop. Jerome Kern? That's right. Pick again. Co-developed by Georges Brake, this abstract art style was first exhibited around 1908 in Paris. What is, um... What is Baroque? No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. No, sorry. Cubism. Yes. One of the Spaniards last works was an 1824 series of lithographs called The Bulls of Bordeaux. Francisco Goya. In 1488, at age 13, this Florentine was apprenticed to Domenico Girolan Girolandio. Who is Leonardo da Vinci? Gosh, that's wrong. Oh. Uh, the 1936 work Summer Days is one of her many paintings of the desert in the American Southwest. Who is Georgia O'Keefe? Right. I'm not going to win, but that's okay. All right, players, start thinking about your wagers for Final Jeopardy based on what you know about this category. Libraries. In terms of branches and holdings, this city's library is the largest public library in the U.S. Or what is Washington, D.C.? Sorry, wrong. No, it's New York City, so I end up with a buck. Oh, well. You got it. Way to go, champ. Oh, well. It's all good. Thank you for playing Jeopardy. Let's do it again real soon. We will. See you all for the next segment, everybody.